If Nadir can make real content again, I can too, damn it. Fuck. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. It has been a minute, but for those of you that have been more, you know, in tune with what I've been up to, I've been streaming a lot recently, so I haven't really been gone gone. I just haven't been focusing on the channel, haven't uploaded in several months, but that should hopefully be about to change. But speaking of streams, if you're interested, you can go look at my Twitch channel that's in, linked in the description. I have a stream schedule pasted uh, on my offline banner there, as well as you can go follow that, as well as you can go get the link to my Discord, which is something that I'm on like basically every day. Link is in the description of that, and I announce when I'm going to be streaming. So if you don't want to miss streams, then that's something that you can do. But today's video is going to be me showing you a new World Chalice combo that I have come up with. Well, one variation of a combo that I've come up with. Uh, and it is basically uh, a way to make Yu-Gi-Oh more broken than it already is. Basically, you know how Goki is running around right now doing these Gumblar for four hand loops ending on Trigate Wizard, right? On an extra link. Well, I decided to apply that to World Chalice, and we started doing Gumblar combos. I say we as in me and the World Chalice Discord when I shared this information with them. And then it's just evolved ever since. We were just doing Gumblar for four, but I discovered how to optimize some combo sequences around to make it to where multiple two and three card combos can yield you into Gumblar for four plus Trigate Wizard. Alright, so the combo I'm going to show you in this video is Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice. The World Legacy World Chalice can actually be swapped out for either Brilliant Fusion, Lee the World Chalice Fairy, the Phantom Knights of Shadebringendine, Exodius, tons of other cards to turn this into another two card variant of the combo. But then there's also another variation of the combo that's literally Venus plus any monster in your deck plus one card in your hand to discard off Nightmare Goblin that is actually the exact same combo sequence, but that's a three card combo and it does change a few things of your sequencing that you do during the middle point of the combo. So that's something I wanted to cover in a separate video. But what I wanted to show you in this one was specifically how Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice interacts in the way that yields the combo of what we're going to be trying to do, which is Gumblaring for four and then, um, and then uh, Trigate Wizard. Yeah? Trigate Wizard. But so you're going to start out with Normal Summoning Venus. You're going to get your three Shine Balls out of your deck as poor like usual. I don't know why you would not get all three Shine Balls out of your deck. I mean, I guess. I guess, man. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. But so you're going to get all three from the deck, and then you're going to link away with Venus and two of the Shine Balls into Summon Sorceress. This combo requires Summon Sorceress, so if you live in the European territories or just the territories that don't have Summon Sorceress, sorry. Uh, but it really opens up the potential of what you can do with this deck. You're going to use Summon Sorcerer's as effect, copying the uh, Shine Ball that's here to summon a Fairy from deck, and you're going to summon Eva into this zone that the Summon Sorcerer's points to. Uh, Eva really gets broken open by into like actually being a really, really, really broken card for the deck because of Summon Sorcerer's. Uh, it's actually just like wild what you do with this deck now just because of Summon Sorcerer's. Like, that's the only thing that changed in the deck was Summon Sorcerer's being legal between national season and now and the deck just does so much more but so you're going to link away the eva into the link karibo and then the eva's effect is going to trigger you're going to banish any two fairies from your grave i personally like to banish venus plus a shine ball so that if i draw exodius two shine balls are going back instead of one and you're going to add lead a hand and you're going to add herald of the orange light to your hand if i can find it there it is herald of orange light and so then you're going to link away the shine ball that you had left over on the field into imduk the world chalice dragon and then you're going to use its additional normal summon here because World Legacy World Chalice is the combo piece that we have as our extender to go with Venus. And you're going to tribute the Link Karibo to normal summon the World Legacy World Chalice. And now from here, you're going to link Emduk and the World Legacy World Chalice away into Ebe, the World Chalice Priestess, in the center of your field. Now your World Legacy World Chalice is going to go Chain Link 1 and your Emduk is going to go Chain Link 2 because we have the Lee in our hand to summon. And everything that I'm doing as far as zone placement from here on out is actually super important. Uh, you could get away with doing the Summon Sorceress wherever you wanted it, like between the two zones, and uh, as long as this ended up in the middle. But from here on out, it's super important where I put my cards. So you're going to Special Summon Lee here, and then the World Legacy World Chalice is going to resolve, and you're going to summon your Vanilla from your deck in the far left-hand zone if you're working on that side of the field. And then you're going to put your guard dragon over to the out of the way. Like, just out of the way somewhere. You just don't want it to be in the way. And so from here, your Lee is going to get you a search. And you're going to search for just another World Legacy World Chalice. If uh, shit hits the fan, you could just end with that on your field. Uh, not really that big of an issue. But so now from here, you're going to link away the Summon Sorceress and the Lee into a Firewall Dragon to the left of the Eeb. And so from here, now this is next to the Firewall. And that's what we want. We wanted this here. 
So now this is going to go to grave, and you're going to make Imduk in the top of the right hand extra monster zone. Now Firewall's effect is going to trigger special summoning a monster from your hand. So you're going to special summon the Herald of the Orange Light next to the Firewall. And so then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to link away the Guard Dragon and the Herald into either Nightmare Goblin or Nightmare Phoenix or just whatever link to you have that points sideways. I usually do Goblin. It's the better card to have on like a Soul Charge if you're doing that later. Uh, a lot of things. Keeping the Phoenix in your extra deck is just generally better uh, for like turn three, like getting rid of a back row or whatever. I mean, uh, it's just reasons, but some of the combos require you to use Goblin earlier, so obviously you'd use Phoenix. Um, so now you get to trigger Firewall's effect to special summon from your hand again because the Herald of the Orange Light that you summoned next to Firewall left that zone. So that gets to trigger as Chain Link 1 because we have a confirmed monster in our hand. Our opponent knows it's there. And then you're going to chain Firewall's effect to add two cards from your graveyard back to your hand because you have the Eeb and the Goblin both co-linked with it. So you're going to add back Eva every time. Eva comes back to your hand every single time in this combo sequence. And then you're going to add back any vanilla. So we're just going to add back the Chosen by the World Chalice. Not that big of an issue, right? Now the Firewall special effect uh, to special from your hand resolves, and you're going to special summon the vanilla that you added back from your hand, from your grave to your hand. Is it, can you tell it's been a while since I've made videos? I'm so rusty with commentating and nonsense. But so now you're going to link the Chosen by the World Chalice away into your last Imduk right here. And then from here, you're going to link Imduk and the Goblin away into Ningirsu, the World Chalice Warrior. And now you're going to structure some chain links. Ningirsu's draw effect is mandatory, so it's going to activate as chain link 1. Firewall Dragon's effect can be chain link 2 to special summon from your hand because the goblin left the zone that was next to it. And then your Imduk's grave effect can be chain link 3, special summoning World Chalice from your hand. So you're going to use Imduk's effect to special the World Legacy World Chalice that's still in our hand here. And then you're going to use the Firewall's effect to special, specialing the Eva over here. And then you get to draw three cards. And it doesn't even matter what these three cards are. They could be extenders or they could be not extenders. It does not matter. Physically could not matter. So now we get to go into the Gumblar stage of the combo. This is what we get to do. We're at six cards in hand if, it was, if this was a two-card combo that we were performing. And so now what we get to do is we get to do some shenanigans. So what we're going to do is we're going to link away the Imduk and the World Legacy World Chalice into Orum, the World Chalice Blade Master, up here. And then we're going to link away the used Firewall Dragon, treating it as one link material, and the Ningirsu, the World Chalice Warrior. And we're going to link that away into Topologic Gumblar Dragon over here under this side of Orum. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use Orum's effect. We're going to tribute the Eeb that it's pointing to in order to special summon Firewall Dragon back under the Aurum. So that resets the Firewall Dragon. So now from here, the Gumblar triggers, and the Gumblar is going to discard two cards from my opponent's hand and two cards from my own. The cards that it discards from my hand are random, but it literally doesn't matter like what they are because you've, you've got your entire board set the way it needs to be. So now from here, you're going to go Eva and... Orum, if you don't have another monster in your hand, you have to get rid of the Eva. It's unfortunate that that's the case, but if you have another monster in your hand, like at this point, I drew this Rosenix. I still haven't used Lee's Grave Effect. There's a bunch of different factors that go in for allowing you to expand this combo out. Uh, just, just something to keep track of. But so you're going to link away the Orum and the Eva that, just saying that we didn't have anything else as resources. You're going to link those into Trigate Wizard. And so now from here, we haven't used the World Chalice Guard Dragon's Grave Effect yet. So we're going to banish that, and we're going to special summon the Chosen by the World Chalice or one of the Shine Balls next to the Firewall Dragon again. And then we're going to use Firewall Dragon's Effect here to add Eva back to our hand. So we safely put it on the field, use it as a link material, and then put it back in our hand, uh, making it dodge being discarded by Gumblar in any way, shape, or form. And then you're going to put Chosen into the grave and summon a Link Spider from your extra deck, the Firewall Dragon's effect is going to trigger, specialing Eva from your hand. And now from here, you are pretty golden. You've got the Trigate on board, the Trigate is live, the Gumblar has already discarded two cards from your opponent's hand, and in your opponent's draw phase, you're going to activate the Link Karibo effect in your graveyard, in their draw phase, tributing the Eva from your side of the field, and special summoning the Link Karibo next to the Firewall. And so this is what's going to happen here, is you're going to go chain link 1 Gumblar because its effect is mandatory, and then you're going to go chain link 2 Eva. Eva is going to banish two fairies from your grave, so this and, I guess, Lee. 
Uh, and then you're going to add another Herald and another Lee to your hand. So add Herald and add Lee. And now at this point, it's completely random whether or not you get to keep the Herald. Uh, I've got six cards in my hand, so I can easily just roll a dice. Uh, two, okay, so the Herald's going to Grave. Uh, so two, and what other card are we discarding? Three. Uh, so called by the Grave. Uh, so basically, you've discarded four cards, your opponent has discarded four cards, your opponent now has two to one cards, depending on whether or not they hand-trapped you or not, and you could play through it, and you've got the Trigate Wizard. You have the option of keeping Herald, depending on what the end of your combo sequence is, if you had another monster in your hand. Uh, there was uh, a few different places where I could have easily special summoned any other monster in my hand, like this Rosenix, on the way to making this ending board, which keeps the Firewall Dragon live. Because the only reason we had to use Firewall Dragon was to put Eva back in our hand and special it again, because we had to link away with it, right? If you have another monster in your hand, you're able to special summon that monster from your hand with a specific combo order, which is literally just using the Lee's Graveyard effect to send Eve to Grave, add it to your hand, then Eve trigger, specialing it next to Orum. But that's enough to trigger your Firewall to special a monster from your hand, and that's enough. Um, it's It's very, very simple and very easy for you to utilize. But that's basically the gist of the combo. You've discarded four cards from your opponent's hand. You have a Trigate Wizard that's live. The weak point of the Trigate Wizard is this Link Spider that's in front of it because they can just kill that in battle. But you revived a Link Karibo. Any one monster they're going to summon to attack into it, you could just tribute the Link Karibo, make the tag zero. Now your Trigate Wizard has no threat from whatever normal summon they might be using uh, to get over it. Uh, so, like, it's it's a really, really interesting combo. It's really neat seeing how this deck has evolved since its original inception, where Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice at best was an Ingirsu draw three and then, like, a Firewall or two play. Now we're actively hand-looping our entire opponent's hand. Well, not the entire hand, but four cards out of it, which is a pretty significant chunk. And then ending on a live Trigate, uh, and then multiple other things like ending on a potential Herod of Orange Light in hand and stuff like that because, like I said, there are instances where you can make Firewall Dragon live, which means that in the instance of a Firewall being live here, you can just add the Herald back to your hand after it got discarded. Uh, there's a lot of factors that go into it. It's, it's really neat and it's a really fun deck and I've been having a blast theory crafting all these different combos but anyway that is the combo for this video sorry if it was a little long but it that's the way it goes i mean i literally made 13 cards out of my extra deck there's just a nightmare phoenix and a seraph knight left in here that's all there is so like it's very much like the way of the road but anyway let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as always if you want to see more videos if you want to see me come back to this platform obviously like the video leave a positive comment of some sort subscribe if you haven't already and all that sort of jazz. Like I said, links are in the description to my Twitch channel, where I stream at least twice a week usually over there, and I usually play a lot of World Chalice, and I usually talk a lot about World Chalice, and then there's also a link to my Discord server if you want to go enter that, as well as the Discord is where I announce when I'm doing my streams a lot more in advance than I do when I put like those YouTube videos out. So if you're interested, then definitely check those out. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video.